I started in venture capital uh, kind of incidentally. I was uh, working for Hewlett Packard. I was in charge of uh, putting that company into the computer business. I had an idea for a laser, and I got permission from Dave Packard to actually develop a laser company as a moonlighting project. Amazing. It, the invention worked, fortunately, or we wouldn't be talking, probably. Um, I sold the company, all the while working at Hewlett Packard. But then later on, I decided, gee, I had actually been a venture capitalist. Maybe I should do that full time. So Eugene Kleiner and I formed uh, Kleiner Perkins back in 1972. And uh, we've been at, at it ever since. Uh, we have a long list of famous companies. Uh, Genentech, Tana Computer, uh, back then, Google, AOL, Amazon, uh, Sun Microsystems, uh, Netscape, it goes on and on. I turned down Steve Jobs on Apple. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and there have been some other. We don't talk about the mistakes. So. <laughs> My ultimate passion is sailboats. And I'm building a large uh, modern clipper ship. It will be an automated clipper ship. And I've been working on this now for four and a half years. And uh, we expect to have it finished late 05 and sailing in 06. So hopefully I'm going to be every uh, woman's dream, because uh, women buy 85% of all fiction, 85% of all fiction. So this, this book came about, I was invited to try out for the star part in a reality uh, television series, and you play with 20, 20-year-olds, 20 and uh, at the end of it you married one of them. I, I thought the original idea was pretty good, but the ending episode might not be something I wanted to do. So I thought, uh, let's turn it into a novel. And uh, I outlined a novel and gave it to my ex-wife, Danielle Steele, to write. And she thought, well, this has got to be written by a man. So I wrote it. She edited it. And then uh, Judith Reagan of HarperCollins was interested in publishing it to women. It's a romance. It starts off with a, a widowed uh, billionaire whose life is not very great. A couple of uh, kids in their early 20s. And he gets a letter inviting him to participate in the sex romp, just like I did. And in fact, the letter is at the beginning of the book, the actual letter. Um, and he he's a nice guy. And uh, he wouldn't do this, except that he meets the executive producer of the show and she is just stunning absolutely stunning trouble is she's engaged she's, in, she's 39 she's engaged to a guy 29 and but he's very attracted to her and so he sort of plays along with this idea in order to be close to this woman but as the book unfolds um, she and her relationship with her fiance doesn't work out so well and as she begins to gravitate towards him he begins to gravitate towards one of the girls that she picks for him so it's they're sort of zigging and zagging and of course you got to read the book to find out what happens but it does have a happy ending so it's coming out uh, February 1st of 06 in time for Valentine's Day proceeds proceeds are going to charity so I'm going to promote the promote the book as best I can. I'll make a book tour and uh, hopefully America's women will want to read this book. <laughs>